Hello, and welcome to another edition of Golf Soup. As always, I'm your host, James Leaf. This week for our nine holes of golf, we're at Lupton City Golf Club, my home course. Uh, had not intended on filming this week, didn't have a venue to go to, but uh, I've talked to so many people out there this week that have expressed how much they enjoy golf soup and uh, just didn't feel it right to not get a new episode out. And Cooper and I have not just been out in a long time, just me and Cooper and camera and play nine holes of golf and, and have a good time. So that's what we're going to do this week. Lupton City's coming in really, really good right now. Uh, it's kind of in that awkward transition stage, but it's more green than it is brown and we're happy spring has sprung. We need it. Uh, looking forward to uh, this season of golf here at Lupton City and going to let you guys see how the course is developing. This year should be the year I've, I've planned on. It uh, should be a, a good golf course this year or, or the year that at least that I take off the Goat Ranch label uh, to the golf course. We'll take a quick commercial break here and uh, we'll be back on the first tee here at Lupton City Golf. Why did you buy your new Ford at Larry Hill Ford? Well, the price was right at Larry Hill. The prices were less at Larry Hill. The prices were less at Larry Hill. Did you shop other local Ford dealers? I shopped other Ford dealers. That's why I bought mine at Larry Hill Ford in Cleveland. I shopped at other Ford dealers and bought mine at Larry Hill of Cleveland. Own up brand new 2013 F-150 starting from just $17,988. Take I-75 to exit 20 and go one mile east or see us at LarryHillOnline.com. First hole here at Lufton City Golf Club, 447 yard par five. You guys who are loyal viewers of the fan, you know there's trees down the right, trees down the left. Uh, both of them can bite you hard. Um, not a terribly difficult hole because it's not a very long par five, but if you get tree hooked, which is a very good possibility, it can be a bear. I've been hitting the driver pretty good, but this is a very demanding tee shot. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, it is the first swing of the day. Cooper, that's right up left center. A touch of cut, that might stay between the trees. I believe it will. That's a good start to the round here. Let's see if we can actually still play some golf here at Golf Soup. Well, we kept it in the fairway, uh, which is an accomplishment out here. Number one fairway, once you get it over the hill, all slopes to the left, the part that doesn't slope to the right. There's, there's about a an eight yard area that you've got to hit it in to keep it right in the middle. Fortunately, we did stay on this side of the trees, but I'm a lot further back than I'm accustomed to being. I thought I hit that pretty well. Cooper says there was a big wind that, when I hit, but I wasn't feeling it. We've got about 170 yards in. I pulled seven iron. Pins cut front, so short is the best place to be. And that's hooking to the left. Gonna miss left of the green unless it gets a big right hop. Oh, you're a sorry hooker. Not a good iron shot there. That's not real good position to come in from. These greens are slick and that will be very demanding chip shot. Stupid. <clears throat> not a good second shot at all. Got a very, very tough third shot. This green is very fast and it's running away from me all the way. So getting one close here is gonna going to be tough. I'm going to bump and run it just to, I, I don't think you can throw it on the green with any spin from this short and keep it on. I'm just going to bump a pitching wedge. Let go now, baby. Keep letting go. Filter, trickle. You got this, Cooper? Trickle. Wow, it stopped. No, not yet. Whew. Wow. That's mistake number two on this hole. All right, the very bad mistake I made leaving this above the hole. This will be a defensive putt for me. Hope it goes in, but want to avoid the three putt. Turn. See what I mean? Wow. Got a further putt for par than I had to. The butcher of Bakersfield is here, ladies and gentlemen. Got a five footer for par. Wow, greens are still very slick. Of course, I mowed them this morning, so it makes them very slick. And you just can't miss the, the, your shots on the wrong side of the holes, which is what I did. So I start with a par on a par five. Very bad mistake for golf suit. Let's move on. Second hole here at Lupton City Golf. Um, 
Par four, 328 yards. I'm still reeling from that par on the first hole. That's just, that'll sting me the rest of the day. Par fours out here, two and three, used to be very good birdie holes. Now they're, they're not so great with the greens as slick as they are and, and with so much more Bermuda grass on the golf course, you just don't get the roll that you used to get, so you don't hit it as far. Although I'm going to wind up on this one and try to give it a pretty good ride. Need just a little bit of draw on this one. Pull the shot off properly. That's not drawing at all. Well, it's drawing at the end there. It's right, Coop, by the way. That's gonna be tree hook somewhere. Off to a great start here at Lufton today. <laughs> See if we can get a par out of this one. Well, we're a little tree hooked here on the second hole. Not good. Uh, I probably should ask myself what would Tiger Woods do? He'd just throw it on the other side of the trees, I'm sure. Augusta National let him get away with it. I'm, but I'm gonna play it like real golf's supposed to be played. I'm gonna go over this tree. Got about 60 yards to the green. Going out to hit a high, 60 degree wedge here. See if we can pull it off. Looks pretty good, Coop. Wow. Stay up. We can still see the ball. That's a definite positive there. A really good shot. It turned out to be mediocre, but from the position we were in, par is definitely an acceptable score. All right, guys, that, that was a much better shot than you see the result of. Again, out at Lupton, you've got to play angles, and, and we were out of position again. This green ran away from me. No matter how much spin I put on it, I wasn't going to keep it close to the hole. I'm proud to keep it just that I kept it just barely off the green here. Leaves us about a 35-foot uphill birdie putt. Again, we're just talking about par. And you guys heard me reference Tiger Woods there a minute ago, and we're going to talk about that fiasco down in Augusta at some point during the show. For now, let's get a good two putt here. Go in while you're up there. Good enough, just keep it rolling, Cooper. As I saunter to the hole. Right, Cooper, is that the right word, saunter? Thank you. Third hole here at Lupton, 352 yards from where we're at today, par four. You've got gunch to the right, you've got trees to the left, particularly a clump of trees up there that often can, can really cause havoc. Again, I, I know I keep repeating myself on this, but it, it's just the nature of the beast out here this time of year. The greens are so fast. With the pin on the right side, you really need to be a little bit on the left side to have access to getting one close. But if you challenge that side of, of the hole, you could you're challenging those trees up there too. Of course, if you quit crying about it, just hit it up there with a little draw past the trees, you're in perfect shape, which is what I intend to do. Oh, Cooper, it stayed straight. It even faded a little bit. It's gonna be on the right side of the fairway. One of the hardest shots on the course now. Great. I love a good challenge, apparently. Let's go see what we can do with it. The good news is we've only got about 40 yards into this hole. The bad news is it is one of the toughest shots on the course. It's definitely in the top five. If you miss this ride, it's gonna filter down 30 yards away from the pin or green, either one, either way you wanna look at it. If you miss it short, it's, it's still gonna be a dead chip shot for you. Your best play is probably play it left, use the contour of the hill and, and take a 25 foot birdie putt. That's what smart people do. The rest of us, we take our, our 60 degree wedge and we're gonna aim just left of the pin and try to put some massive spin on this. Looks good, Cooper. Looks real good. Woo! That's what dumb people do. Maybe this dummy can get a birdie here. All right, Cooper's got a straight read, maybe a little bit of break to the left. I've got it on the outside edge of the hole. I think it'll move a good inch and a half.
good birdie chance here. Boom. Good read, Cooper. Good read, both of us, actually. That is a birdie I would not expect after the tee ball, but it does get us to one under par here at Lufton. Uh, rights my wrong by making par on the, the first hole, par five. Uh, par three coming up. Now we get into a little defensive golf. All right, golf suit makes it to one under par, but we got a difficult par three ahead of us. 152 yards. Doesn't sound like a difficult par three, but everything can be difficult out here with the greens. Um, it's uphill all the way. If you come up short, you take the, you, you bring in the possibility of rolling all the way back down the hill. If you go long, you will lose your golf ball because there's some very high grass. Left or right's not good. Big green, but still a very tough green to hit. I've pulled an eight iron. I need to catch it flush. Cooper, I did not catch it flush, just left of the pin, will be short. No, it got up there, wow. That's a little unusual. Actually gonna be on the green, albeit a pretty long putt. Maybe we can fend off a three putt and get a par. Turn, turn more, turn more, go. Oh, that's a good putt there. Just kidding about them stomping the earthworms, by the way. Again, showing you how fast these greens were. I really thought I left that a little bit short of the hole and got all the way there. All right, golf suit, one under par through the first four holes. We're gonna take a quick commercial break and uh, we come back, we're gonna continue with golf, but we're also gonna talk a little bit about the, oh, I don't even know how you describe it, the debacle that was, was Augusta National, the Masters this year, that was, Awful. I'll weigh in on it. Why did you buy your new Ford at Larry Hill Ford? Well, the price was right at Larry Hill. The prices were less at Larry Hill. The prices were less at Larry Hill. Did you shop other local Ford dealers? I shopped other Ford dealers. That's why I bought mine at Larry Hill Ford in Cleveland. I shopped at other Ford dealers and bought mine at Larry Hill of Cleveland. Own up brand new 2013 F-150, starting from just $17,988. Take I-75 to exit 20 and go one mile east, or see us at LarryHillOnline.com. All right, welcome back to Golf Soup, ladies and gentlemen. We're on the fifth hole here at Lupton City Golf Club, 447-yard par five. Before we go into it, I told you I'd weigh in on the, the whole Augusta National Masters debacle down there uh, that had to do with Tiger Woods. My opinion, is formed just knowing the rules of golf, knowing the game of golf. I think the Masters got caught with their, their hand in the cookie jar. They took a look, they reviewed Tiger's drop. It was clearly two yards behind, or clearly a good distance behind where he dropped, um, where he hit his original shot from. That is an infraction. We all know this rule. Anybody who's ever played competitive golf, we've had the debate over and over, if you choose that rule, your biggest fear is dropping it in your divot. I mean, it is a widely known debate. We, we talked about it for years and years and years. Tiger admitted that he dropped it two yards back. Well, first of all, the, the rules committee at the Masters reviewed it and said there is no infraction. Hand in the cookie jar. Tiger comes out and sheepishly says in his interview that, yeah, I dropped it two yards behind where I originally hit it so my wedge would work. He knew better than that. We all know better than that. Tiger is the number one golfer in the world, arguably one of the greatest ever. If he did not know that, uh, he knew that, ladies and gentlemen. I, I, I assure you, he knew he was gaining an advantage. I tell my guys all the time, and I was taught at the age of 10, if you do anything that gives you an advantage, you're most likely cheating. That statement has stuck with me forever, and I'm sure that he's heard that many times before. I spew it out here at Lufton City, left and right with my guys. If you're giving yourself an advantage, you're probably cheating. There are some exceptions under the rules, but this was not one of them. He knew all the rules 100%, and people can say, well, he, he may have thought he was going back on the same line. No, no. The Masters made a huge mistake. The Rules Committee made a huge mistake. Then they had the cover up, and he should have been disqualified. I know the new rule gives them the discretion, however, with the comments Tiger made in the press conference, it was pretty clear 
when he said I, I got away with it too, or it worked out pretty good for me too. That's, that's wrong. I mean, I am sad because I feel like the game of golf has been dealt a death blow to where now the integrity of the game is going to continue to go down just like America is. It, it, it was the last frontier where people self-policed themselves, where honor and integrity meant something. And especially for Augusta who sits up and spews on, on high to us little people about honor and integrity, and then they do what they did to the masters. You're a second-rate tournament from here on out. All right, 447 yard par five. Need a good drive here. That's up the right side, Cooper, with a little draw. End up right in the center. Perfect. Once again, on par five, I'm a little out of position. Uh, it wasn't that bad of a shot. It was a, a half groove low, although I am pin high. Had I call it flush, I believe I've got a little more spin and took it to the left to the hole. Now I'm above the hole again, which most of you know I love downhill putts. When, when greens are this fast, my opinion changes a little bit. Got some friends to go through, got to gauge this perfectly. That's not bad. Felt like as good as I can do. Give me a three. Wow, that thing went right at the end. Are you kidding me? Still a very good putt. Makes sets up for a very easy birdie. Come on up here, Cooper. We'll putt it. Once again, on par five, I'm a little out of position. Uh, it wasn't that bad of a shot. It was a, a half groove low, although I am pin high. Had I call it flush, I believe I've got a little more spin and took it to the left to the hole. Now I'm above the hole again, which most of you know I love downhill putts. When, when greens are this fast, my opinion changes a little bit. Got some friends to go through, got to gauge this perfectly. That's not bad. Felt like as good as I can do. Give me a three. Wow, that thing went right at the end. Are you kidding me? Still a very good putt. Makes sets up for a very easy birdie. Come on up here, Cooper, we'll putt it. All right, 200 par for golf suit through five holes. Um, not bad, could be better, but again, as, as fast as the greens are, you gotta play just a little bit of defense out here at times. Uh, the back four got a couple of birdie opportunities, a couple of par threes that are definite bogey opportunities. Let's play on. Hole number six here at Lupton City, 167 yards down the hill. Uh, I've got eight iron in my hand. I'm not going to hit it particularly hard. Um, all the par threes out here are, are delicate, to, to say the least. Six, uh, much like eight, is a raised green, so if you miss it, you've got a, a pretty good pitch. This time of year, it stays very wet on the right side. You definitely want to avoid that. Um, well, I, I want to avoid anything that's not on the green. But still, a, not an easy shot. You've got to carry it on the green. You can't carry short and expect it to jump up. Just takes a near perfect shot. Got eight iron here. Starts right at it, Coop, but it's hooking a little left. Stay on the green. Nope. Wow, you talk about a tough shot now. All right, guys, uh, I've missed the green left, and I've got a very difficult shot. Again, the green is very fast. It all slopes away from me and to the right here. Uh, two, well, i got several options on this one. Uh, putter is probably the wisest choice to, to get a good look at, at a par putt, but looks like I'm going to have an obstacle in the way. No, he's, yeah, there we go. That's what we needed, something else. Anyway, I've chosen a six-degree wedge. I've putted around here all winter. It's time we start relearning our wedges. Just got to hit a soft little pitch up there and let it release to the hole. Not a soft pitch. Stop you, booger. Oh, that's not a good putt. Golly. You missed it low. We hit a bad putt, and you still got four foot left. Keep it rolling, Coop. I'll mark it. That's pitiful. Never, ever, ever miss below the hole.
Bogey four. Here. Got a four wood in my hand on this 262 yard par four. Wind's in my face, I'm gonna have to sting it. I've stung it, but I've tugged it a little too far left. Cooper, I need a right bounce. I don't think I got it. I'm gonna wind up in the mulch up there, which is not a good position to be. Boy, I put myself in a, a mess here. This area of the golf course here, left on number six, never grows grass because there's so many trees. So we just added some mulch here to help with any erosion that was going on, and I'm now in it. I've also got a leaking sprinkler head that's provided some wet area up there. I've got to manage to not hit in that. Uh, it's just a tough shot. If I get close, I just got lucky. I did not get lucky. Sweet. Hit way behind it. Let loose. You'll go in a hole if you get there. That's not bad, though. I'm never gonna gripe about a little gimme. Well, yeah, I am. I gripe about everything. Are you kidding me? Keep it rolling, Coop. Boom. Went in the left side of the hole, though, I must admit. <laughs> All right, disappointing par on the short par four. Golf soup still one under par. Not a good score for playing at my own course, but it is what it is. We take them as they come. Next hole is par three with a very, very difficult pin position. Eighth hole here at Lupton City Golf Club. Par three, it says 167, but it's not playing that. It's close to 145 from where we're hitting it today. The hard part here is the pin placement. We got a right hand, a right cut pin placement. Uh, that is a terribly hard position of the green to hit. It's more turtle back than anything. If you hit it long, you're dead. Keeping it short, missing the green short is your best option if you don't knock it up there stiffy. Um, fast green again, just just a tough hole all the way around. You miss, you hit the green to the left and give yourself a 50 foot putt. No guarantee you won't be chipping on your second shot, so. Got a wedge in my hand. I'm just hitting it at the hole and what happens, happens here. That's right of the hole. Cooper, stay on the green. Ooh, it let a little short. Coming back down the hill. That wouldn't be bad position had I hit it straight at the pin, but I didn't, I'm a little out of position now to the right. I've gotta deal with the, the break as we go up. Whew, been out of position all day. Come on, Jackson, let's go, buddy. Again, not an easy chip. Putter certainly something I would think about ordinarily, but I need to create these learning moments. I probably shouldn't be creating them while I'm filming, but. Got a 60 degree in my hand. Gonna pop it up there. Give me range. Nope. Oh my. That's three foot of terror in front of me now. I'm gonna leave my wedge down here because I may be chipping the next one. Wow. For those who did watch the Masters this weekend, this putt is very similar to the one Snedeker missed on the 10th hole which was very similar to the same putt Scott Holt missed to win the Masters back in 96, somewhere in that neighborhood. Fast as greased lightning, and it'll turn a little to my right. Bingo. I promise you, if that does not go in, I'll have the exact same shot I just hit up here. Good par for golf soup there. One under going to the final hole, which is a par five. We play it as par five this time of year. I'll explain it when we get over there. Opportunity to get birdie on the last gets two under. Ninth hole here at Lupton City Golf Club. 440 yards from, from where we're at today, actually about 438. We, this time of year we play it as a, as a par five because we've shortened six to a par three. 
keeps our par at 36 and 72. And actually a, a, a decent little par five, just 440 yards, it's, it's not that long. We got a tree off the, the tee back here that definitely comes into play, it gives you a much smaller shoot to, to hit your tee ball. Everything funnels to the right uh, in the fairway up there. So if you don't hit it in a perfect line, you can find yourself in a lot of trouble in a hurry on this hole. Now we're not gonna do that. We're gonna hit a good shot, right Coop? Wind is, yeah, just a little bit. I'm gonna hit this a little high up through there. Right up the gut, Cooper. I can't be any more center cut. Now, unfortunately, cause it's center cut, it'll wind up in the right side, but it won't get anywhere near any trouble. Good tee ball. Maybe we'll get a birdie or even eagle to finish the, the round here today. Good tee ball. Got us about 95 yards into this green here. A very sloping line. Ball's quite a bit below my feet. Pins cut on front, very, very wet up there to the, right at the, where the flag is and to the right. You must carry this one on the green. To carry it on the green, you must put spin on it to keep it anywhere near the hole. A lot of musts here. Must make birdie on the final hole. Right at it, just to the right of the pin, Coop. Ooh, that's pretty good. That's about a nine, 10 footer for Eagle to finish the day. Wee's locked that one. Four or three to finish three under. Did not, did not, actually it did. It broke behind the hole. Wow. Burry, 200 par for Golf Soup here at Lupton City Golf Club. Uh, enjoyed getting out uh, and, and filming today. Again, I, I had no intentions of filming this week, but so many of you have told me how much you enjoy the show and, and uh, look forward to it on Saturday mornings and I hate to keep running reruns on you so not the greatest venue but uh, Cooper and I sure enjoyed getting out and just doing old school golf soup again just me and him and the camera. Um, take a quick commercial break uh, we'll see you on the other side and wrap up the show. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen I want to thank you for tuning, tuning us in this week here at Golf Soup uh, and enjoyed the nine holes I hope that you enjoyed the nine holes. I know I made some comments there. I'm probably going to rub some of you the wrong way. I apologize. I, you can call me a traditionalist in the game, and that's what I'm going to be. I, I don't want to see the game degraded, uh, and I think a little degradation was done uh, over the weekend at Augusta. So uh, I apologize if I offend you. I've heard so many points of view. You know, most of them come from people who've never teed it up in a, a, a professional or even a, a big amateur tournament. So. Uh, it's hard for me to, to, to take those opinions seriously. I'm, I, I have mine, they have theirs. It, it is what it is. But uh, uh, as always, we want to thank uh, everyone that uh, helps bring Golf Soup together each and every week. Jeff Cooper there, Michelle Wilkins, and, and Brad Allen, and uh, Brian Connell there at the Connell Agency who, who uh, does so much with us with uh, Larry Hill Ford and, and all that. Uh, next week we hope to have Lexi out, no guarantees, but I think we've, we've got her close and we've got some good guests coming up in the future as well. So until next time on Golf Soup, I'm James Leith for Jeff Cooper and the rest of the staff here at Golf Soup. We'll see you on the course.